Okay, my presentation is about a literature work named the Transfer Learning Approach for Catch Enabled Wireless Networks. Mm, background and problem. Uh, the background is that the catching contents at the various edges can bring tremendous benefit for both the mobile users and service providers. And uh, it is one of the key approaches for the coming 5G wireless systems. However, catching on strategies in the head networks brings new challenges such as how, what, and when to catch contents subject to the limited storage at the local small cells. Um, traffic load status, unknown spatial temporal traffic demands, and even the data sparsity. More especially, the content popularity matrix is one of the key factors to guide the design of the kitchen strategy. <coughs> However, since it is impossible for the network to grab the full status of users' present interests and the predict features' interests, it is always trapped with the code start and the data sparsity problem, which cause the designed catching strategy not effective and efficient. And in this paper, um, the network model um, consists of three modules. The first one is the information system in the source domain, and the other is the information system in the target domain. And between these two domains, a knowledge transfer model is proposed. In the source domain, it extracts the rich contextual information from D2D -D communication and interactions such as the user's content view history, social ties, and the mobility paths. Well, in the target domain, it is a network consisting users and the small cell base stations which has the catch enabled capability. But these base stations have a limited backhaul link capacity. And in target domain it also needs to know the content popularity matrix in order to catch effectively and efficiently. And the the catch is constrained by the limited storage size. And for the knowledge transfer model, um, it addresses um, what information to transfer, how to transfer, and when to transfer these kind of issues. And uh, in the prior literature work, um, a method named the collaborative filtering learning based approach is proposed. It is to find the content popularity matrix in the target domain and the uh, collaborative filtering based approach contains two phases. Phase one is the training phase. The goal is to estimate the content popularity matrix in the target domain based on the already known available information, uh, that is the user's content ratings. And in phase two, it is the training phase. The goal is to predict the and um, observe the content popularity in the target domain by using the low rank matrix factor factorization techniques. But one problem is that because users in the target domain may read just a few contents, which could cause the content popularity matrix to be sparse and that's suffering severe or feeding issues and poor performance. Also, another method named the multi armed bandit learning approach. The multi armed bandit approach models an agent with partial knowledge of the system. The agent takes actions repeatedly based on its present knowledge in order to maximize the accumulated reward over time while acquiring new knowledge simultaneously. The classic multiple armed bandit model considers a slot machine with F arms whose expected rewards are ID over time with unknown means. 
At each time instant, one arm is pulled and the slot machine yields a random reward. The problem is to decide which arm to pull at each time slot in order to maximize the accumulated expected reward over time. The expected values of the arms are estimated based on the instantaneous reward observations. The more times an arm is pulled, the more reliable its estimate is. Well, the more times the arms with higher expected rewards are pulled, the higher the expected accumulated reward is. It is a trade-off between the exploration of the new arms and the exploitation of known arms. Well, in the small surface station catching problem model, each file in the system corresponds to an arm and the small cell base stations decide which set of files are stored in the catch and estimate the performance metric, such as by power of loading and user's experience, which is equivalent to pulling a set of arms and observes their rewards. In this paper, the author proposed to use the transfer learning based approach with the goal to find the content popularity matrix in the target domain and alleviate the matrix sparsity problem. Um, the, um, um, the, basically, the idea is to exploit and transfer the tremendous available user content reading information from a different yet related source domain to the target domain. In the source domain, it extracts useful information from B2D-based social network and transfers it to the target domain. Well, in the target domain, it first um, established the correspondence to identify similarity the contents in both the source domain and the target domain. And after that, um, it uh, gently learned how the and uh, optimize the content popularity matrix in the target domain by combining the knowledge in these two domains. And then, um, after obtaining the popularity matrix, popular, uh, the content popularity matrix, it guides the small cell base station to catch the most popular contents in order to offload the backhaul link and improve users' experience. The strengths of the transfer learning based approach. First, the concept of transferring extracted information from one domain to another domain to assist the prediction in addressing the various network problems is of novelty. Second, the proposed transfer learning based approach alleviates the non effective data sparse and cold start issues which are normal in the recommendation system. Last one is the effectiveness and the efficiency of the proposed transfer learning approach is validated and several key insights are drawn. Um, first is the storage size um, for the small cell base station is crucial in the cache enabled network. The second is the perfect content popularity matrix and uh, the random catching random catching pro pro provide the upper bound and the worst case performance respectively and uh, there are also some weakness in this literature work first uh, it is the strong assumption that the author assumes that even a single cellular radio access link capacity is less than the entire backhaul link cap 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 capacity, which is not practical at all because the radio access link capacity is always the bottleneck. This is one of the main reasons why every 10 years a new generation merges in cellular network. And uh, but since um, UMTS, the core network has not evolved too much compared to the radio access network. The second, it is 
also a strong assumption that the user and the content correspondence between the target and the source domains is perfect. In reality, users in one domain request reads a particular content, not means it will execute the same behavior in another domain. A discount factor can be considered. Then they also not take into account of the user's mobility when formulating the content popularity matrix. That's why, is, as far as I know from this literature work, it is assumed that the number of files catched at the small cell base stations is smaller than the file library size. But the caching replacement policy and the interval of the replacement are not considered in this work. Mm, some improvements and the feature works. This literature work is limited only one source domain, and it also can be extended into several source domains case, in which information combining algorithm and the correspondence among different source domains are needed when target domain process processes the transfer the information. And uh, <coughs> so then utilize the real chase and a particular social network application such as Facebook to assess the performance is highly recommended and then um, we can also utilize the specific features of the sparse matrix to further optimize and improve the efficiency of the pro pro proposed approach. And uh, this shows some relevance to my course project of this literature work. This paper is to propose a transferred learning based content caching mechanism to maximize the backhaul of loading lanes as a function of the storage constraints and uh, users' content popularity matrix. Well, for my course project, uh, we would like to find the new caching design strategy that uses cellular networks to guarantee service continuity to the mobile user in the hierarchical network architecture. And uh, we propose to minimize the user's cost constrained by the limited storage on the local networks because a local server cannot afford to store the whole contents and uh, guarantee the service continuity for the mobile users. Mm, this page listed some mm, a part of the related literature work, the prior approaches to address similar problem and the scenarios. Uh, a paper named uh, Femto Catching Various Video Content Delivery Through Distributed Catching Helpers. It, it is proposed to utilize small cell base stations with low speed backhaul but high storage units to deliver contents via shorter range transmissions. And the second paper is a, a comparative study of collaborative filtering algorithm. In this paper, it is pointed out that if the content popularity matrix remains typically large and sparse with very few users' readings, uh, which is referred as data sparseness and code start, they will make the state-of-the-art uh, collaborative filtering learning approaches ineffective and inefficient. And the last one is the learning-based optimization of cache content in a small cell base station. In this paper, Monty Armed Bandit is utilized to address the unknown content popularity. The small cells exploit the present known knowledge and <coughs> explore new knowledge simultaneously. Okay.